Now let's get to torquing things down. The intake camshaft is 15 foot-pounds or 180 inch-pounds plus 100 degrees. So we're going to hope that the camshaft doesn't turn. In the meantime, I've got a, uh, a dowel that I'm going to put in here if it starts to turn. Plus 100 degrees. 10 degrees more than 90. So from here, oh, let's see. From, from here to right there would probably be perfect. So, okay, how much did we lose there? Probably enough to bring it down to here and then to there. Not exactly scientific, but serves the purpose. Now we'll just pull back. I want my extension back. All right, there we go. Now, the exhaust cam is 25 foot-pounds plus 135, and that is a 8 millimeter hex. All right, 25 foot-pounds. Plus 135 degrees. Well, it's going to be a little bit fun. So we're going to start. We're going to end here. Okay. Which means we need to start. All right. Uh, That'll work. So I gotta bring that all the way over to here. And again, I need this in here. I don't want to put it anywhere. It's gonna be a problem. It's not gonna cause the chain to jump, so I will do it up here. Compensating for the movement there as well. Now that both of those have been torqued, we just kind of white mark them just to identify that they've been done. These two right here are 13 foot pounds or 156 inch pounds. side we've got 18 foot pounds on this one that's 18 and these two down here are also 18 I'm going to do both of these to 18 foot-pounds also. Okay. 
And don't forget to mark those also. As well as the one up above it. Up here, 89 foot pounds or 89 inch pounds on these. Make sure to white paint those also. White mark, white mark, white, white, and here and here, we're all set down here, everything is, I gotta pull out the pin right here for the timing chain tensioner, and we can take these bolts back out, we gotta apply silicone here, here, and here along the lip of the cover and then put the cover on. And then these two plugs go in. What I'm gonna do is just set them in here for now. I'm gonna come back afterwards and put a little bead of silicone around the edge because I think these things are uh, yeah, the o-rings that are in there are kind of flattened. We'll see. I'll make sure these things don't leak. Oh, this thing just does not want to thread. There we go. Now let's get the cover ready. Now what we're going to do is tighten all of these down to 89 inch pounds also. These are also uh, brand new uh, oil pump. Now we're ready for silicone. Brand new tube of RTV. We're going to use black, uh, ultra black on this. And I got pliers so I can roll the tube as we go. Makes for much more efficient use squeezing it from the bottom. Now, before we start getting the goo all over, make sure that this is absolutely spotless one more time. need to clean the inside of that where the three bolts go through this reminds me right here as well that's a good thing because there was oil there and that would have been a leak same thing with this one sure that everything is clean and ready, we can start applying the silicone. There's about a three millimeter bead all the way around every one of these lines and we'll be ready to get those bolts out and put this in place. we got ten minutes from the time I get done putting it on here. Work 
quarters myself. And then around the water pump area. Oh, that was kind of lame. Screw around in this open area. So I cut it there, get all the way around. good enough for cake decorating but it'll do oh yeah and then I gotta go around these three spots right here so ready to go on now. Let's get the bolts out of that. I'm do my best to not bounce you guys around while I'm doing this. Long bolt up here. Short bolt right here. Another long bolt right there. Now let's get our cover. Just now ready to go on. check everything we are all good let's get silicone that's good all right well, that is kind of weird isn't it hmm. all right we got dowel pin right here a dowel pin right there These are 10 millimeter. I'm just going to run those down in by hand really quick. Here's the extension. We don't want to tighten anything up yet. We got dowel pins in the bottom. We'll make sure the case is perfectly lined up, but I'm going to double check just to make absolutely sure before I go tightening anything down. But we are perfectly, perfectly lined up. And we are. Now we start putting all the perimeter bolts in. All of these cover bolts on their outside perimeter are 89 inch pounds each. The seven millimeter right here is 71 inch pounds and hmm I think I missed the other two these two right here which I think are also 89 inch pounds except for the little one which is 71 and it does not have any particular order for tightening these I'm going to go around like 
lightly snug all of these up. Last thing I want to do is hear a crack. Can't say I like the way that uh, these didn't snug up. No, uh, these were tight. All right. Well, now we're ready to go for it. And 71 inch pounds on that. Alrighty, now let's white mark all of those for all of those bolts. a scratch sheet with all your torque specs and orders and everything else already in advance. All head bolts, 22 foot pounds, and then 155 degrees in a very specific back and forth sequence. So we're going to start off with 22 foot pounds. I need my other other torque wrench for this one. two foot pounds on each. Now I've already snugged these down so they're probably all above 22 so what we're going to do is back them all off one at a time and then torque them back to 22 each. Let me get this thing back down to so I can figure out what's what. 15 that's 20 21 22 all right oh that's not even not even tight yet okay Upside down and out of order. So that's one. Actually, I failed. Fail. Okay, this is number one. Straight across number two. Diagonally across number three. Directly across again, number four, then five is right here, six is directly across, seven is up in the front, eight is directly across. Nine is in the back corner. Ten is directly across. 
11 is in the front, and 12 is in the back, directly across. Now we're going to go back through, repeat the entire sequence again. Now here's where things get really tricky because now we've got to do every one of them in the same sequence 155 degrees but I'm not going to do it 155 all in one shot. I'm going to break it down 90 degrees each one and then come back for that little last yank. Now we're going to paint mark each one as we do them. We don't lose track of where we are. Now from here to here it's 90 degrees. There's 90. We're going to put a paint mark on right towards the middle. From here to here there's 90. Paint mark towards the middle. Next one here There, there's 90. Right here, here, there's 90. Back here, there's 90. Might have been just a tiny shy of 90. Okay, there's 90. All marked once. So we're at 90 degrees done already. 155, so we've got another 65 degrees to go. So that's 90, that's 45, 65 is right around in here. So just shy of another quarter of a turn each. Really scientific. So we're going to bring that to right about here. but these don't feel like they're as tight as they should be. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
last but not least, you get the three little ones in the front here to do. And those three little ones are 62 inch pounds each. And then the middle one, an additional 60 degrees. point now where we get to roll her over and start working on the uh, pickup tube and the bottom of this mess. I gotta clean all of this up. Actually I want to keep this tipped at an angle so it's easier to keep it yuck. side first and then I'll tip the engine the other way and do the other side. And some of the silicone that we just put in. I'll trim that right down nice and smooth. this all scraped down. And a little bit of ooze came out with the, uh, the cover. I uh, can't even feel that. Now I can feel a little bit. So just clean it off on the bottom here. Shaft seal, we'll be installing that in a little bit. And we have a uh, very unique little gasket in here. It's made for the oil sump. It sits. Got orange silicone on it. So somebody reused an old gasket. Duck. Let's get that cleaned up. So we can put the new gasket on it. There, all nice and clean. All the way into a seal at the bottom of it. 
I'm going to put the new gasket on it. New gasket on there. Gently. And then we can go ahead and install our tube. One capture bolt right there. And then two loose ones floating around over here. Found both of them. Those down in. that look crooked as hell. Well that ain't no good. We gotta do some improvising here. This pickup tube is bent. Yeah it is. This pickup tube is bent. Right there. We're gonna have to figure that one out. debris in there too I gotta clean out. Well ain't that just a doozy. Well, ain't that just special? It almost looks like there's a deliberate bend, but something's not right here. It should be all the way up there like that. See if this fixes the problem. Well, that definitely did not help the problem any. Alright, 
now that I think I got the fitment straightened out. That's level now. Okay. Now we can just blow all that crap out of it. bend out of it. Got it so that it makes flat down here now. Nine inch pounds. Ten. And one more. So we're there. Flip the black the other way and get this side cleaned off. And razor blade action. Absolutely went bananas. I saw it coming on this thing before. Uh, what do we have right there? A bolt. Broken off bolt. I what that goes to. That's metal. Yeah. Okay. Try not to bounce you guys around too much here, sorry.
rinse all the rest of the crap off of it. sludge this thing. Yay. Now we're going to do a three millimeter bead all the way around with the exception of in here and in here, here and in here we're going to do a five millimeter bead. It's a nice big glob. So start right here and start applying. should do. Alright, let's grab two bolts. There's all of these oil pan bolts. One front, one back. oil pan on. Hopefully we don't have any little surprise issues waiting for us. Approximately where it needs to be. One bolt down and in. of uh, lots and lots and lots of silicone still on these bolts. Thank you. 
bolt. Two long ones right here, and go in the front or in the back. Yeah. And then we have three small ones that go in the front. Before I go champ shoving this screw all the way down in there, I'm gonna make sure that it can go that far. For a second there and I might have gotten both mixed up. 10 millimeter and let's run those down in. of torques. All side oil pan bolts, 18 foot pounds. Ends, 89 inch pounds. Put this baby back up on the 89 inch pounds, or are we already, we're already there. Cool. Oh, 
enjoy. Where are the two bolts that go back there? Again. Right. Oh, there's silicone down in there. That's what the problem is. Plastic piece out with it. Oh no! This is going sideways kind of quick. Oh, this is definitely going sideways kind of quick. Uh, yeah, lucked out on that one. I just gotta figure out why those screws go down in, but not all the way.
Let's see. That should be able to go all the way down in there now. Same thing with this one. Should be able. Outside seal done, cleaned out the groove. Uh, a little residue left in there. Right, let's get these seals out of here. Figure out how we're going to get underneath them. Oh, oh boy. Those aren't exactly uh, all the most pliable anymore. Minus 90, we got 100. And, uh, let's see. What do you think? Can't think. Where's the cap? Put the cap in there. Edit it out. Blooper scene. <laughs> 18 foot pounds or 180 inch pounds. Again. I don't like that either. It doesn't feel right. No, that's nowhere near right. Let me double check that. Uh, let's see. Pump bolts, 89 inch pounds. Pickup tube, 89 inch pounds. Okay. 